This is the new InvisiTag barcode feature video. This is to demonstrate how to properly check equipment in and out using the InvisiTag barcode feature. So rather than using additional handheld readers uh, for our job sites, we can just now scan equipment in and out with our InvisiTag app. To do this, on the main menu at the very bottom, there's Selected Reader. You select that option. Instead of Wi-Fi Reader or Bluetooth Reader, which is the handheld RFID system, you just press Barcode. You would then go to Jobs. And just like before, we have our steps 1, 2, and 3. Job Dispatch, which is my equipment estimate. Allocation is how much equipment am I actually checking out. And step 3 is Job Pickup, all my equipment that I'm going to check back in. So I do step 1. I put on my equipment estimate, and I think I need three items for this job. So this is where typically you would scan your truck with the reader. Instead of scanning the uh, truck with the reader, I press the barcode icon, and then I scan my items. So it says air mover 1 is being loaded, air mover 2, and a DHU number 1. Press done, and it tells me three out of three items have been loaded on the truck. I press dispatch, and this is where I put in the job name, where this equipment is going. I can say Mr. Wayne, 1234 Gotham Street, uh, New York, New York, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, press OK. And these three items have been dispatched to Mr. Wayne's home. I press OK. And then I see when I get to the job site, out of the three pieces of equipment, I only need two. So job allocation is what it does is scans and does a difference. So I'm going to scan whatever equipment I'm leaving on my truck. So I go to step two, select Mr. Wayne's job. And then of these three items, I'm going to scan the one that's still on my truck. So I got a barcode scan. And it tells me here that are two items that are allocated, meaning that are being left behind, and one is unallocated, meaning still on my truck. So I press done, and then I press allocate job. And now, before I allocate the equipment and start a report, I can add a GPS location. I press add location, I press locate, and here it finds me, and it finds that I'm at Invisitag. I select that address, press done, a job report starts with the two items I left behind. And what it did is it captured the GPS location of where I dropped the piece of equipment off. Now, when I sync this report information to the cloud, I will see this report in the cloud with a GPS pin drop on a map uh, on the enterprise website. Please refer to the GPS map overview video to take a look at what that looks like. So in my report tells me that I dropped off two pieces of equipment. It tells me there's an air mover two and DHU one. It tells me the tag number, a start date and time when I dropped off the piece of equipment, ST, the end date and time, ET, for when I pick the equipment back up or check it back in, and the bill hours. Bill hours is the difference in the time I drop off to the time I pick up, letting me know how long each equipment has been on the job site for. I One last feature we have here is a due date reminder. I press the toggle switch, and then I can set the date of when I want uh, an alert to be sent to me. So in, let's see here, in four days, if I don't pick up these equipment, then the very next day on the fifth day at four in the morning, I'm going to get an email letting me know that this job still has equipment in them. I need to go check them back in or pick them up. So that is your due date reminder alert, and that is how you set it. I press back, say three days, four days have passed by, time for me to pick up the equipment. I go to step three, which is job pickup, go to Mr. Wayne's list. It's now looking for these two items. All I'm going to do is grab the equipment, put them on the truck, and I'm going to scan the equipment by tapping the barcode icon. I've detected my air mover two, and I've detected my DHU. All my equipment have been loaded. Press OK, and now my job report is complete. The two items that I dropped off were properly checked back in. The end date and time have been completed, and the bill hours have also completed. Every single report saves as an Excel spreadsheet, which I can email myself just by pressing the icon at the bottom. 
or if I press back every and press sync all my information backs up to the cloud and I can log into my enterprise website and see that information from anywhere if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to reach out to us at Invisitag at 248-562-2037 or visit our website www.invisi-tag.com. Thank you for watching.